459-660 babies I have a dream about you you're following me but I'm not 100% sure if you're there for real or if it's someone else that's not you or if it's a leaf and a breeze and a shadow speeding across someone's headlights too scared to turn around to check I decide my only option is to make a run for it possibility that there are no monsters in the universe, no one to stalk us or eat our brains or care one way or another whether we build a suburb on top of their sacred engine burial ground, no unseen forces with any interest in whether we live or die, that we are on our own out here, adrift and unobserved, that can be a horror movie in its own right. It depends on what kind of music you put under it. reminded of how my uncle has always referred to his children as little monsters. He's up to no good, little monster. <laughs> Later in life, my uncle developed anxieties when left in his house alone for more than a day or so. I reckon a guy gets used to the chaos of four little monsters, and so a whole mess of quiet can be disquieting. Baby's jumping. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pregnant. Okay. Why do you think most people have babies? Mm, I think most people want babies because. I don't know, when I think of my family, I think of, like, my parents have, like, six friends, you know? Like, six people that are always there for you. I don't know, I feel like I have a little friend, you know? And, um, it's just more to love. Went to the beach this summer with some friends of mine and all I could talk about was bacon ice cream and babies. Why do you think most people have babies? I asked them. They want to make miniature versions of themselves, but perfect, said E, who has a habit of calling babies crotch droppings. They make the babies listen to Mission of Burma so they will have perfect taste in music. S had a different take. Automatons, dude. We're programmed to make babies, so we do. You get to show them the first of everything. So, 
Isn't that a little bit like playing God? <laughs> um, like playing God? I mean, no. <laughs> Basically just saw, uh, at first, a gray kind of screen that kind of looks like the radar, and then, um, the technician focused in, and then you saw different layers and cutaways of what was in Mary's belly, and then you see, all of a sudden, out of the shadows comes this form, it's kind of like a peanut. Then you could really see, at some points, it was like, oh, you know, there's the head, there's the shoulder, and you can see a part of the body. There's the beak. There's the, <laughs> yeah. to sing, you know, but I really need help. It'd be nice if everybody could help. They turn up the volume, and then they, they listen for the heartbeat, and it was like, and that kind of vibrated the whole room. It's fast like that, it wasn't. <laughs> 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 What's the real reason that most people have babies? I think the real reason is to continue life, to pass on. And why would they want to do that? We might very well be programmed to invent the Loch Ness Monster, too, and the Yeti, and Ghosts of Christmas Past. We might be hardwired to project upon our cats and dogs and babies all of our most personal home movies. If the natural world won't keep us company of its own accord, we'll force it to. If we're robots in the natural world, then there is no story, no plot except for the one we make later in the editing room. It's the simplest song. All us children know it. Kind of flow. We don't catch it this time, we'll catch it next time.